Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Whitley and welcome or welcome back. I am so excited to do today's video. This is my first time ever getting a book subscription box of any kind and I saw that Owlcrate was doing all the world's a stage box in June and I absolutely had to have it. So we are going to be unboxing that today. I should not be trusted with sharp things, but here we are. Okay, let's see if I can do this without spilling everything. How freaking cute is she? If you saw my last video, you know that my favorite book of the year so far was Heartless by Marissa Meyer and this is giving me all of the Red Queen vibes and I adore it. I'm not going to read the back of it yet because I don't want spoiled. But this is the pin for this month. I know that Owl Crate has a pin every month which is amazing for me because you can't see it but I have a lampshade full of pins so this will definitely be going on it. It looks like a little postage stamp with circus tents on it. It is so cute. I'm going to put this down because I have to open this. I don't know what this is, but it smells so good. Guys, it's a shower steamer. When I saw it, I was kind of going to be a little sad if it was a bath bomb because I unfortunately don't have a bathtub, but it's a shower steamer, so anyone can use it. This is made by Whipped Up Wonderful. It's called Gambler's Ruin and it is coffee and orange and it smells so good i love my morning cup of coffee so if i can get more coffee in my morning i am here for it and this bag is super cute it's definitely going in my scrapbook so you can put things in here like pictures and stuff this is a super cute box sounds kin this is absolutely adorable. It says Le Cirque de Reves, which I think is from Night Circus. It says opens at nightfall, closes at dawn. And it has a little slit in the top. I think it's like a little piggy bank. I have a Nemo that actually holds all my change now. So I think I might have to switch my change over to this little guy because he is adorable. So it says, experience the wonder of the circus of dreams every day with this beautiful tin pencil holder slash coin bank. It's made by Forensic and Flowers. So apparently the top comes off, which is even better because I always need space to hold my ever growing collection of office supplies that I am obsessed with. I don't think my nails are gonna allow me to get this off, but my nail almost got caught in the slit. Okay, we'll play with that later. Oh my gosh, guys. It's coffee. I was just telling y'all how much I adore coffee and this is so cool. Bones Coffee Company presents Cirque du Freak mini donuts. And I don't know if it has any relation to the Cirque du Freak series by Darren Shan, but I absolutely adored that series when I was in middle school. I think that is the only book series that I have physically thrown a book across the room while reading. Um, if you ever want to read it, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I think there's there's 12 books and I think book five or six I literally threw across my living room because I was so disappointed, but amazing series. I am so excited for this and I cannot wait to open it and try it. What is this? I don't understand. So, so the things don't bump against each other? I feel like it just makes a mess. Okay. Already sharpened. I cannot hold these all in my hand. It is a Shakespeare pencil set. That is so cute. It says channel the talent of the bard with these exclusive pencils. 
says these violent delights have violent ends to thine own self be true all the world's a stage i burn i pine i perish i'm not gonna lie i'm probably never going to use these because they're so cute but i will definitely put them in the pencil case and they can be like my little desk ornament okay so next we have this little i'm guessing it's like a desk pad it has notes to do weekly habit tracker you can have a little place for whatever you're currently reading which the space is not big enough because i'm usually reading two to three books at a time but super cute and it has a quote from one of my favorite movies of all time the greatest showman what if we rewrite the stars Ugh. no i just want to watch the greatest showman again this is super cute and handy and i would definitely be using it here's our girl again i cannot get over how freaking cute she is okay so this month's book is a book that i have never heard of but the cover is absolutely stunning uh where dreams descend by Janella Angelus. Guys, there's stickers! So we have our author letter here. Oh, that's right. This isn't even a book sleeve. This is just on the hardcover, which is so cool. Look at these end pages. I love a good end page. It kind of looks like the back of cards which is really cool. The only bad thing about not having a sleeve to the hardback is I don't see a synopsis anywhere. So I'm still not sure what this one is about, but I will definitely be getting on Goodreads as soon as I'm done here and putting it on my TBR because this cover is enough to pique my interest and I'm a sucker for a circus book. Okay, so let's see what's in here. We have the interview with the author, the comparison to the regular book, which the original is very pretty, but I am in love with what Owlcrate did to the cover. I like how it doesn't have the, the curtains and they kind of simplified it. We have a little crossword and they have recommended reads if you enjoy this. And I actually just recently finished Daughter of the Burning City and I was a huge fan so hopefully this is just as good if not better and they have a reading playlist inspired by the night circus which is so cool i'm definitely gonna have to check that out she is just so cute and finally the theme to the july box is a date with destiny so this artwork on this card is just absolutely gorgeous but yeah, overall, I was super impressed. I've never gotten, excuse you, cat. I've never gotten an owl crate box before. I mean, I've seen people unbox them, but to have one in my hands and to be able to unbox one myself, I'm just so happy. And I'm so happy with my items and I cannot wait for next month's box. I'm not sure if this will be a monthly thing, but the boxes that interest me, I will definitely be trying to get. So maybe we'll see some more unboxings in the future. Let me know if that's something that you would like to see. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one.